Deputy Keane O'Callaghan. Can Carla and, and Taoiseach, uh, in June, the Minister for Housing told me in a reply to the Dáil uh, in a question that the proposed shared equity scheme had been approved and passed by the Central Bank. We now have confirmation that this is not uh, the case. Uh, and in fact, we know that the Central Bank and the SRI have both criticised this, this scheme, saying that it will potentially push up uh, house prices. Statement that the Minister for Housing... I want the Minister for Housing to come in uh, to this house and make a statement, uh, answer questions on why he misled this Doyle. He told the Doyle unequivocally and clearly that the Central Bank had approved and passed the Shared Equity Scheme when no such formal approval had been given whatsoever. The statement he issued on this today doesn't clarify his statements in the Doyle and why he told the Doyle that. So I'm asking that he comes into the Doyle to answer questions on why he incorrectly misinformed the Doyle and Thank said you, that it was approved by the Central Bank when it was not. Deputy Pierce Doherty. On the point that Deputy Callaghan has raised, I think it is important that we do have the Minister Thysia before this House. It is really important that we get to the bottom of a Minister who has misled the House in relation to what is a flawed scheme, a scheme which you know, the senior civil servant in the Department of Public Expenditure said it was being lobbied by developers because it would line their pockets and it would push up house prices. But my own colleague, Deputy Ona Bryn, had clarified with the Central Bank that indeed what the Minister uh, put on the record of the doll was not true and that the Central Bank hadn't uh, approved this scheme. And indeed then we have the Minister going, not just misleading the doll, but misleading the Irish people by going on prime time and reiterating that falsehood. So it is crucial that the government that you lead, that you have these Ministers accountable and accountable to this House and are able to explain to this House and indeed the public why he continues to peddle this lie from a deeply false scheme that was lobbied you, by Deputy. the developers and that is going to push up house prices. It is completely out of order to accuse any member of the House or a Minister of misleading the House or of misleading the public in circumstances other than by way of a substantive motion. So I would ask you to maybe temper your remarks on that matter. It's just a statement of fact, Ken Corley. Um, in, that, in that regard, it's we're not, not... We're not here to... Yes. My understanding is... Correct me if I'm. The word lie was used by Deputy Doherty. Well, Anytime not, that it's ever been used in the House, from my time I'm in the House, it, it, it's members have been order. asked to withdraw the word lie. It's not in order to use such terminology. And it would be preferable uh, as well not to accuse people of misleading the House other than by way of substantive motion. So would you care to withdraw the lie accusation? Problem with drawing the live accusation. But the sub let me make this point. The substance of this here is the minister did mislead the house. I stand over that. And the serious question here is is the Tisha, are you going to turn a blind eye to this no, again? No, wait, no. Just like, like everything else, or are you actually going to lead in government? Deputy, because Deputy, this can't go on. Deputy, if Deputy uh, Keane O'Cannon raised, raised the point, uh, uh, Minister O'Brien has been very accountable to the House in respect of all the issues pertaining to housing and legislation. What was interesting in terms of the Affordability Act, and Deputy Doherty said it was a flawed measure, you didn't oppose it. The opposition party didn't oppose the Affordable Housing Act, which included the shared equity scheme. You huffed and you puffed, but you didn't oppose it. And that's the fact. And my, my point is, it was well debated in the House. I, know, I will talk to Minister O'Brien. If you want Minister O'Brien to come in and make, you know, I'll I talk to Minister O'Brien about that. But Mr. Mr. Brian has no issue. He never has had an issue coming before the House and engaging in debate on a range of issues and people can have their disagreements and so on like that. Uh, Just get a point of clarification. Yes. The Business Committee now meet to arrange for Darrell Brian to come before the House. It is a very serious issue. It always has been when a minister misleads the House. Well, not to, and, well, and he's also misled the public in relation to repeating the accusation on prime if, time. If, if, if you're very capable members and the Business Committee wants to bring that before the next meeting of the Committee, it will get full and adequate consideration. Okay? Well, I'm asking that, as we're dealing with the order of business for this week, I'm asking, given the comments of the Tisha and that the Minister would make himself available, I'm asking that it happens now and it ha it, that that is arranged for tomorrow. For tomorrow. And what would you like to take off the agenda for tomorrow? Well, I, I, think, if, I think we can actually sit a bit longer, with respect, right. but that is up to you uh, and the other members in relation to the Business Committee. Well, we'll, we have we'll, a Minister who's met the, misled the House, we have a Minister who's met, misled the public, after being corrected by Deputy Owen O'Brien and by a statement of the Central Bank, and it needs to be dealt with in the All House. Right. I, I will undertake to consult with the Business Committee after this session.